कांग्रेस के एक भ्रष्ट एमपी से इतना पैसा मिला और कांग्रेस तो भ्रष्टाचार की जननी है बिजनेस वालों का पैसा और बिजनेस करने वालों का पैसा का कांग्रेस का साथ कहां से लेने देना है कांग्रेस तो कांग्रेस पार्टी अलग है और बिजनेस करने वाले उनका कंपनी अलग है Good evening. Thanks a lot for staying with us with CNN News 18. You're watching the Super Saturday Debate. I'm Ridhima Bhatnagar. We're going to put out some visuals behind me. Just look at the picture that is playing behind me. This is the kind of cash that one has probably never seen and possibly one will never see in the future as well. How much is it? One is not really sure at this point. This cash that you see behind me is to the tune of upwards of 290 crores and is still being counted. This is cash that has been found by the income tax department from premises linked to the Congress's Jharkhand Rajya Sabha MP Dheerat Sahu. Now the IT department has recovered as we pointed out upwards of 200 crores from the Booth Distillery Private Limited and this is in Odisha. Apart from Odisha, the income tax department has also raided Sahu's business premises. This is in Jharkhand, West Bengal and some of the other areas. Now we are understanding in Jharkhand some of these areas which in fact have been raided are in naxal affected regions which are in fact forcing the IT department to exercise a lot of caution as of now. Now the BJP has gone to town saying that a vote for Congress is vote for corruption. The Prime Minister has also reacted saying that every penny in fact will be returned to the country. Dheerat Sahu still has not reacted. The top leadership of the Congress has still not reacted. Lone reactions from the Congress have said these these are only allegations and nothing really has been proven as of now. So what really is the truth here? Let's break down some key details first in terms of who is Dheerat Sahu, what is the kind of links that he has to the Congress party, and what do we know so far as far as these IT raids are concerned? Now Dheerat Sahu is a businessman. His family is associated with the Congress party. What we also know is that he kick-started his political career way back in the 1970s, and post that he in fact uh, became a Rajya Sabha MP from the Congress Party from Jharkhand since the year 2010. Reportedly linked to the Booth Distilleries firm, exactly where these IT raids in fact have happened, and from where all of this cash in fact has been recovered, which is upwards of 250 crores. That cash, in fact, is still being counted as we speak. Now let's speak about what the IT reads have revealed so far, and what are we picking up from sources within the IT department. Now the IT reads have revealed this so far that the Booth Distillery Private Limited were raided for alleged tax invasion. But the big question as to what is the total amount that has been recovered, that counting is still on. Some machines have already given up as this is a mammoth amount of cash that has been recovered. These distilleries are linked to the Congress MP Dheerat Sahu, and this has now become a new flashpoint between the BJP and the Congress. 300 plus crores seized in over four days, as we pointed out. What the exact amount will be by the time the counting ends, we don't know because that counting is still underway. It is the highest ever black money haul by any agency in a single operation. What was the? Where did this cash come from? Who all were linked as part of this cash? All of these questions still remain. The cash has been seized from offices and residences that have been linked to this Congress MP. 30 officers and bank staff are currently involved in counting this entire cash that has been seized from various areas. 150 more bags have been needed by authorities to even transport this cash, and they're not even halfway done. Before we bring in our guest, we have a crucial reaction that is coming. After the prime minister who reacted earlier in the day as reports started to emerge as far as this cash seizure was concerned now you in fact have the home minister Amit Shah who's also reacted to this massive cash haul that has happened this is what he's gone on to say more than 250 crore cash found from the house of a congress party mp modi ji is very strict against corruption no matter how big a person is no corrupt person will be spared and that is something that we heard from the prime minister as well that every penny will be accounted for and every penny in fact will be given back to the country let's listen in to that reaction that is coming from the home minister do din pehle hi akbaron mein humne aisi tasveere dekhi 
मैं तो अचंभित रह गया किसी पार्टी के सांसद के घर से इतने सारे नोट निकलना मैं विश्वास से कह रहा हूं इतने सारे इंडस्ट्रियलिस्ट बैठे हैं आपने इतने नोट आपके जीवन में नहीं देखे होंगे सिर्फ बैंक का काम करने वाले ट्रेजरी के लोगों ने ही देखे होंगे परंतु आज मोदी जी के नेतृत्व में पारदर्शिता के साथ विकास का सूत्र जहां जहां भारतीय जनता पार्टी की सरकारें हैं वहां जमीन पर उतरा है वास्तविक बना है अग्रोशल रिएक्शन दे कमिंग इन फ्रॉम द होम मिनिस्टर Let's also now bring in our guest. We have the national spokesperson of the BJP, Sanju Verma. We have the national spokesperson of the Congress Party, Dolly Sharma. We have lawyer and political analyst Kapil Madan. We also have Ashutosh Srivastava, lawyer and political analyst. Good to have all of you with us here on CNN News 18. Dolly, I'd like to begin the conversation with you first. Um, I started yeah. in my introduction and I said yeah. I don't think any of us have ever seen the kind of cash that we're putting out in the pictures, and I don't think we will see hmm. any kind of such cash hmm. in the future. So I want to first understand: Is Dheeraj Sahu somebody who still continues to be linked to the Congress Party? If that is the case, then why is the Congress Party not coming out with a stand and helping us understand what is all this cash doing in Almiras that have been stacked up, and this is cash that is still being counted as we speak? Yeah. See, Dheeraj Sahu <coughs> is a businessman, hmm. and his family is associated in a liquor business from last forty years. Number one, number two, Congress Party has got nothing to do with the business of Dheeraj Sahu. and anybody found if they if the government is founding this number of cash they they are free to take any legal action we we believe in the legal system of the uh, uh, of the country and whatever be the case you you uh, put in all the legal apply all the laws hmm. try to do whatever they want hmm. put in all the inquiries hmm. and check what is it hmm. all the inquiries are open it's not the congress party will never protect any leader like the bjp does hmm. प्रोटेक्टिंग ऑल द लीडर्स पहले वो करप्ट होते हैं बीजेपी में जाके मशीन में धुलकर क्लीन हो जाते हैं वी वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू डू दैट सो ऑल द दे कैन टेक दे आर फ्री टू टेक ऑल द लीगल एक्शन No, but what they is are the, free to take uh, no, no, all the no, no, inquiries? No, 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 Dolly Sharma. The point is, and I will go to Sanju in just a bit in the other guest. What the investigative agencies will do, that's their yeah. job. Uh, what the law authorities will do, that's their job. What is the role and responsibility of the Congress Party? <laughs> I see I have told you clearly I have told you uh, clearly that mm. he is a businessman from last 40 years his family is associated with the mm. liquor business we do not know congress party has so no is idea he, is he, is he, right so easy has he never number been one. a member of parliament from two, the congress party now, has he never been given see, a ticket by see, the congress let party me, is, me, he, is he now see, a suspended me, party member there was see listen 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 mm. give me a moment give mm. me a moment to speak yeah so now there was not a single case before on hmm. him he was the member of congress party undoubtedly hmm. all the inquiry let the let the government agencies do all the you know related inquiries and if he is found guilty congress party is not going to support him we will not support him we are not going to support him in any case if he is found guilty okay okay before Put in I, all the legal okay. start all the legal procedures so i just want to understand something before i bring in our other guest if that is the case if he has no links as far as this mammoth case cash that has been recovered that still continues to be counted what is the harm in coming out and clarifying that this silence is only adding as far as these entire allegations are concerned so I am the spokesperson of the Congress party speaking hmm. on behalf of my party clearly say, stating the the side of my party hmm. right so uh, who do you think should come and speak it is the spokesperson only na who come and speak so i am speaking okay that uh, the the agency should go by the law conduct all the inquiries possible hmm. and whatever the case may be we will not going to support if he is if if he is he is committed such crime we are not going to support him i am saying this openly on the national television so sanju i know i can see we your will hand not protect, i mean we will, no we so, are not going to protect him in any case if he is found guilty 
Okay, so the Congress party is saying these are only allegations at this point, nothing really has been proven. Let the IT department, let authorities, let agencies start their work and if something comes out, then the Congress party will take action. Why is the BJP already jumping the gun? Okay, uh, you know, uh, we are seven minutes into the debate. I did not heckle and I expect that cut, Siridiva. First and foremost, let me make this very clear. Congress ka wo hal hai haathi ke daant khane ke aur dikhane ke aur. Uh, you know, I'm glad Dolly Sharma was honest enough to say that, you know, if uh, charges are proven against him, then uh, uh, a natural course of action in terms of uh, what the Congress will do will follow. But I have been on a couple of debates in the last 24 to 48 hours on this issue where some unofficial spokespersons of Congress, they have been brazen and audacious enough to say, Aray bhai sahab, 200, 300, 500 crore, yadi baramad hua hai, to kaun se badi baat hai? Does cash being recovered imply that this cash belonged to Dheeraj Sahu? So the next question is, assuming this cash did not belong to three-time Rajya Sabha MP from the Congress Dheeraj Sahu, then who did it belong to? Was Dheeraj Sahu working as an ATM or a storage tank for some other senior Congress leaders? Point number one. Point number two, you know, I will tell you why the BJP is different from the Congress. When charges were leveled against the then Panchayati Raj Minister in 2022 against K. Ishwarappa when the BJP was in power in Karnataka, I remember the Congress going to every uh, rooftop uh, and saying and screaming and raving and ranting that, you know, 40% commission leti hai, ye 40% commission sarkara hai BJP ki. K. Ishwarappa ke khilaf charges were not proved and yet we not only denied K. Ishwarappa a ticket, but we also asked him to step down from the Panchayat Raj Ministry. Don't forget, Santosh Patil, a contractor who died, had leveled mm. charges of bribery and extortion against K. Ishwarappa. Mm. And subsequently, those charges were found to be flimsy and meaningless. Mm. But look at the contrast in the Congress. Mm. We all know that since 2016-17, the case against D.K. Shivakumar is sub judice. Mm. He's out on bail, mm. which means... He may not be guilty, but he's not innocent either. Hmm. But what is D.K. Shivakumar today? D.K. Shivakumar is not only a senior minister in the Karnataka cabinet, but the hmm. deputy of Siddharamaya and on course to becoming the chief minister if all goes well as per their, uh, you know, uh, okay. internal negotiations. Look at the difference. You know, these people say, Himanta Biswa Sarma ne aisa hmm. kiya tha. You know, uh, Nilesh Rani ne aisa kiya tha. Hmm. Sumendu Adhikari ne aisa kiya tha. Ajit Pawar ne aisa kiya tha. But BJP is a washing machine. Hmm. So, bhai sahab, you believe in the judiciary? Hmm. You believe in the law of the land? Aap jaiye, Supreme Court ka darwaza aapke liye khula hai. File a case against Himanta Biswa Sarma. Okay. File a case against Ajit Pawar. But don't come to national television and start whining and crying and sulking. But last but not the least. People said due process has not been followed. Hmm. Tell me, Ridhima, anyone, and I have an excellent knowledge of taxation and finance. Hmm. Under the Income Tax Act, first, the IT department serves you notice under Section 142.1 of the IT Act of 1961. Correct. It then serves hmm. you notice under the uh, IT Act Section 143.123. Okay. If you fail to respond to any of these notices, then the income tax is empowered under section 132 hmm. of the IT Act to conduct suo, moto, you know, okay. search and seizure operations, okay. which is exactly what the IT department has so, done. And so, the me, point that Sanju, point. so the point last Sanju point. is making, Sanju, one second, I want to, I want to bring in another guest and I want to take in some uh, key breaking developments that we're getting. But the point that Sanju is making is valid in a case like this. When a similar case came yeah. to light, as far as the BJP was concerned, that MLA Vero Rakshpa, uh, BJP was swift enough to take action against him, even though the cash at that point that was recovered was in fact from his son. But I'll just request a guest to stay on with us because we have a very crucial reaction that's coming in now. And this is in fact a reaction that's coming in from Jairam Ramesh of the Congress who in fact has now reacted as far as this entire cash seizure is concerned. And this is what he's gone on to say that the Congress in no way is connected as far as these cash seizures are concerned. Only Dheeraj Sahu can really explain what this cash is all about and what this cash seizure is. 
So the Congress in a way distancing themselves as far as this entire controversy is concerned. Jairam Ramesh saying that the Congress has nothing to do as far as this caste seizure is concerned. Only Dhirat Shahu, the man who himself finds himself in the eye of the storm, can in fact explain himself. But Kapil, I want to bring you in the conversation. Look at the optics around it. The BJP at this point is saying a vote for Congress is a vote for corruption. And the only reaction that we're getting is that the Congress has nothing to do as far as this cash seizure is concerned. Only the man in the eye of the storm can explain himself. We cannot give you any explanation at this point. That won't cut eyes. So, Rima, I would just first like to acknowledge Sanju here. I mean, Sendam, you know, she uh, speaks very honestly. And, you know, today was such one such occasion where she said, if there is an allegation against Hemant Bishwa Sarma or any other BJP leader, then the opposition can go to the Supreme Court and file cases. I mean, is it not, you know, ironical enough? Does does it not proves what the opposition says that, you know, when it is about your leader, then the corruption, the meaning, definition, the process, procedure, raids, IT department, you know, they work completely differently. And they, you know, uh, spin it over and say that you know you go and file cases. So this is this is completely completely irrational and illogical explanation. That's point number one. Now second, but thing Kapil, she Kapil, says, to play the devil's now, advocate here, no, the opposition okay. at this point also doing exactly that. Otherwise, no, the narrative no, is there no, that there is vendetta. No. The central agencies are Vidima, being misused. Vid, Vid, Today Vidima. you are saying let the authorities take their own course. Yes. As far as no, the leader is concerned, we have nothing to do yes. with it. Damn if you do, damn if you don't, you can't have it both ways, no, right? No, 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 the point is, Ridima, there has to be an investigation. There, there cannot be any second doubt, second thoughts, mm. or, you know, any debate whether there should be an investigation and whether there should not be an investigation. You know, you remember when the 2G scam happened, the so-called scam happened, the BJP, you know, contested 2014 on that plan, on the plank of corruption. And when that case was tested in the court of law, mm. it fallen flat. Mm. It has fallen flat. Now, I will ju just draw a parallel. Whether someone is guilty, whether someone has committed an offense, whether that, you know, money belongs to ABC, XYZ or, you know, to, you know, the Congress MP, mm. that is after the investigation is concluded. Mm. That's point number one. Okay. And why I say this, and why I say this, Virima, is that you need to ensure that these uh, uh, public institutions, the agencies like ED, CBI, you need to preserve public confidence Kapil, in these Kapil, agencies. Kapil, I, I, Kapil, 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 no, no, no. Kapil, I am with you. And Sanju, I'll come to you just a bit. Kapil, I am with you. I am saying let the authorities do their work. That is fine. We're all on the same page with that. But what is the responsibility of the political party? The political party surely yeah. cannot just throw the leader under the bus saying till yesterday he was with the party. Today, we don't know who this man is. And he will have to defend for himself. As I said, of in a similar yes. case, of when the yes. BJP was I mean, in the it, eye of the it, storm, it, they took swift now, action so that the opposition couldn't train their guns at them. But before I go back to no, Dori no, and Sanju, no, yes, one sec, me, one sec, Kapil, me, Ashutosh me, is, me, Kapil, me, one sec, Kapil, yeah. one sec, Kapil, one sec. Ashutosh has also been patiently waiting. Minister was speaking against Ajit yeah. Baba. One sec, one sec. The very next day, he was the part of the BJP okay. government. Okay, okay. Dolly, I'll just come back to you. Let's be, let's be respectful to the other guests who's been patiently waiting as well. Ashutosh has been patiently waiting. Ashutosh, sorry, yeah. could not come to you earlier. Leaving the political allegations, counter allegations aside, this is cash upwards of 250 crores it's still being yes. counted so we still don't know what the end amount will be we should have a clarity hopefully in a few days from now but in a case yes. like this what happens from here on what is the kind of protocol that we'll have to follow to try and understand who got this cash in yes. who did it belong to what was the cause of this cash see first of all uh, you know that this is unaccounted uh, uh, money what has been recovered Okay, uh, now uh, the income tax authorities, they are empowered under section 133A of the Income Tax Act 1969 hmm. to have the survey of any premises and they can go inspect and they can impound such cash or any such documentations which they feel that uh, there has been tax evasion. Hmm. Now, apart from the taxation issue, what I feel is the other investigation which might take place in future as to what is the source of this uh, yeah. uh, you know this much amount mm. of cash from where it has come from is there any money laundering also involved is there any other crimes also involved because it's a huge huge money yeah so 
maybe maybe the central agencies like ed will also take its course in uh, coming future after understanding as to what is the source of this uh, kind of uh, money which has come in so it is not only the tax evasion part of it but okay. it is a very serious concern okay it also highlights as to how this much of cash is being handled So as oh, Ashutosh is, is rightly pointing out, right now there are multiple questions. Was this a case of just tax evasion? Was this a case of money laundering? Was this money being used for elections? Was it being used for campaigning? Multiple questions that still remain. And I want to go back to Dolly. Now, Dolly, by the tweet that Jairam Ramesh has just put out, yeah. this looks far too convenient. Hmm. This is hmm. somebody who is still associated with your party. Either the Congress should say that this man has been suspended pending investigation and inquiry, and that is why we have nothing to do with him. You can't have him as part of your party and then say we have no idea where the cash is coming from. Can you, uh, ma- uh, madam, ca- did the BJP? Uh, did, you must be expecting the same BJP doing. with the uh, uh, bjp mp who was who had allegations uh, against the women wrestlers did, what did they do could you just tell me hmm. they only supported and uh, protected brij bhushan saran singh hmm. and the wrestlers who prime minister says are very much a part of this country who brought names to this country what they did to the wrestlers hmm. they were beaten up badly hmm. lathi charged on the roads of delhi and the entire country had seen what bjp did to the to the mp hmm. nothing he is today also a very much part of the bhartiya janata party hmm. they were protecting even today they are protecting that uh, uh, bjp mp brij bhushan saran singh and now okay. i would like to tell you one more thing here if hmm. this name would have been not like you know dheeraj sahu ki jagah agar modi hota to nirav modi lalit modi aur baki sare modiyon ki jagah unko bhi protect kiya jata aur davos mein shayad pradhan mantri apne piche use lekar khade hote unke bhi hazaron crore le jaake bhagne ke baad we are to clearly saying do all the possible okay. inquiries so Sir, 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 Sir
फूलता फलता रहा और आज जयराम रमेश कहते हैं धीरज साहू कौन है हमें तो पता ही नहीं इट इज लाइक से उल्टा चोर कोतवाल को डांटे राहुल गांधी जयराम रमेश ओके जयराम रमेश जी ने ऐसा कुछ नहीं कहा है जो जयराम रमेश जी ने कहा है उसको मैं पढ़कर बता देती हूँ ओके वही हम कह रहे हैं संजू वर्मा डॉली आई वैक रेड आउट दैट वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड वन सेकेंड Dolly Sharma, Sanju Verma. Let's be respectful to the other guests also. I'll request, I'll request both of you. Just one second, one second. Sanju Verma and Dolly Sharma. That is exactly the reaction that we just put out. Jairam Ramesh, and I'll repeat it for the benefit of our viewers and the other guests also. This is exactly what he says. The Indian National Congress is in no way connected with the businesses of Dheeraj Sahu, who is an MP. Only he can explain and should explain how huge amounts of cash have been reportedly unearthed. That point has already been taken, but the fact that he still continues. to be a member of the congress party that is the question that in fact is being raised by the bjp i'll give the final word to kapil madan kapil the point that the bjp and others are now raising if the congress does want to join in in the investigation that is a welcome move but what about the responsibility of the political party when a member of theirs is in the eye of the storm and a controversy of such nature so uh, uh, ritma in fact i have also seen the tweet made by mr ramesh where uh, mr jairam ramesh has very clearly said that you know uh, mr sahu should explain you know this cash belongs to whom so i think you know it is a matter of investigation and it is mr sahu who needs to explain i okay. will just draw you know one parallel one hmm. very you know short parallel here you remember there was a video that surfaced of you know narendra tomar son where his son was talking about you know some you know 100 crores that were you know were to be given mm. what was the response of the bjp did you see any investigation happen mm. without there being any investigation they floated a narrative that oh that video is fake and okay. just before after this incident you know the prime minister was also seen talking about mm. deep fake video whether it is a you know deep fake okay. video whether it is it is correct it is Kapil, only i apologize for interrupting point well taken it is still a matter of investigation we'll have to see what is the kind of total cash that is collected oh, by the authorities and we'll eventually have to see if there is a reaction that comes in from dheeraj sahu as well we've completely run out of time would like to thank all our guests we do have to slip into a very short break thanks a lot for watching